One of Terracotta's most important features is Java object data availability for enterprise applications. Terracotta automatically persists business critical Java objects to disk on the Terracotta server, making them available to other JVMs in the cluster on demand. When one of your application servers goes offline, your critical data is safe in the Terracotta server. As application workload is rebalanced to other application servers in the cluster, they will automatically pull the necessary object data into Java memory from the Terracotta server. Terracotta has always had server mirroring for high availability. If a Terracotta server instance fails, the mirror will automatically take over as the active server and the application servers will automatically reconnect and continue operation with no downtime and no data loss. In Terracotta 2.7, we introduced the ability to add multiple active servers to handle increased application throughput. Terracotta 3.0 introduces the next generation of this capability. Active Terracotta server instances and their passive backup instances, together called mirror groups, are joined together in the Terracotta server array to form stripes. The load on the Terracotta server array is spread across these stripes. You can add as many stripes to the Terracotta server array as needed to deliver the throughput your application demands. Adding stripes reduces or eliminates tuning effort and lets you run your Terracotta servers cooler for maximum operational stability. In our performance lab, we have tested Terracotta server array striping throughput on real-world customer applications, and the results are impressive. We tested striping with combinations of two, four, and eight application servers running against one, two, four, and eight server stripes to see the effect of adding more Terracotta server horsepower on total application throughput. With two application servers running against a single Terracotta server stripe consisting of an active server instance and a hot standby, we achieved 1,800 write transactions per second with an average of 5 kilobytes per write. On each transaction, both the active and hot standby servers write the object changes in that transaction to disk for high availability. Adding another Terracotta server stripe for a total of two actives and two hot standby servers, we saw total application throughput increase to 4,000 transactions per second. Four Terracotta server stripes yielded 7,500 transactions per second, and eight server stripes produced 11,000 transactions per second, finally coaxing the last ounces of performance from the application servers. Next, we added more application servers to the test to increase total application throughput even more. Four application servers running against four Terracotta server stripes produced 8,500 transactions per second. Eight application servers running against eight server stripes yielded a stunning 20,000 write transactions per second. That's 10 times the total application throughput required by the customer, one of the world's largest travel applications. Terracotta 3.0 offers a giant leap in scalability. Terracotta has always been fast, but the next generation server striping in 3.0 opens up the throttle even more. Use server striping when your application cluster has reached the limits of its capacity and you need to add more power, or when you want enterprise high availability that runs cool and stable without a lot of tuning. As always, use Terracotta when you want to spend less money on expensive database and application server licenses.